Hello my dear students, in this video we are going to continue with the sorting the elements. Sorting is nothing but it is arranging the data items either in ascending or in a descending order. Let us continue with the insertion sort. Here you can see we have got the algorithm let A be an array with n unsorted elements. Here you can see let us take one example 70, 60, 50, 10 and 80. Let us consider 70 is in a correct position and the element 60 is the key. Here you can see 60 is less than 70. Hence, we are going to write or interchange these two elements. Now, the key element is moved to the next element that is 50. Here you can see after sorting, after interchanging 60, 70, 50, 10 and 80 is arranged. Now you can see the key element is 50 now. Now it compares with 70 and 60. Here you can see it is going to compare with 70. Here interchange takes place. Okay. In place of 70, 50 will come. In place of 50, 70 will come. Again, this 50 will compare with the next element that is 60. Again, 50 is less than 60. Hence, interchange takes place. So after interchanging, you will get 50, 60, 70, 10 and 80. Now, the key element is what? 10. Correct? Yes. Next, 10 will be compared with 70, 60 and 50. Here, 10 is less than 70. Hence, interchange takes place. Here you can see again, 10 is compared with 60. Interchange takes place. Now, this 10 is compared with 50 and here 10 is less than 50 hence interchange takes place. Here you can see 10, 50, 60, 70 and 80. Now the key element is what? 80. Correct? Yes. Next 80 will be compared with each of the previous elements. So here 80 is greater than 70. So it is going to check for the first time and there is no interchange takes place. Next 80 will be compared with the 60. So there is no interchange takes place and it is going to compare with the 50. No interchange takes place. Now it is going to compare with 10. No interchange takes place. Hence now it is in a sorted order. And now it's the time to take a programming example to show how the insertion sort works. For that I will take you to my laptop screen. Here we will continue with hash include iostream dot h header file hash include conio dot h header file then wide main curly open brace here we are going to declare all the variables along with array so let us take a of 10 next i and then we are going to take j and one more variable that is temporary variable and n. Now let us write C out. Enter the size of array or we can write how many elements. Then C in will take n C out. Here we'll write enter the elements. The looping structure for i is equal to 0, i is less than n and i plus plus seal e of i. Now we'll write see out the sorted elements are here we will use the logic next we'll write here for loop i is equal to 1 because it is a key element so that's the reason we are taking i is equal to 1 and i is less than n and i plus plus next curly open brace here we will take temporary variable to swap the numbers so here temp is equal to a of i then j is equal to i minus 1 while looping structure here we are going to use 
temporary variable if it is less than a of j and logical ampersand j is greater than or equal to 0 then we have to swap the a of j plus 1 is equal to a of j j is equal to j minus 1 curly closing brace and then we'll write a of j plus 1 is equal to temp and here curly closing brace now we are going to write c out here we'll write looping structure for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and here we want to display all the elements so here a of i then we'll write get ch curly closing brace now let us compile this program so here it is success there is no error we'll click on run and here you can see it is asking how many elements so let me enter four and now it is asking enter the elements i'm going to enter numbers random two one three and then four so here you can see the sorted elements are one two three four